Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to use five animation presets on Linearity Move and how to use them to animate this ad in just a few clicks. Let's get started. Let's start by exploring the animation preset library. On iPad, the preset library is on the right side of the screen. I click the plus button on the top right corner, then I select the preset label at the bottom. The first preset animation I'm going to use is Must Reveal. When I use this preset, I can select the direction of the reveal and the speed of the transition. Then I click Apply. I can see that some keyframes appear on the timeline. My selected object is now enclosed inside a mask and the two position keyframes make it move up and down for a nice reveal. All of this was possible just with one click. For the next panel, I select From Bottom Preset. When I select this preset, I can also decide the speed of the transition. I select Slow and then I tap on Apply. I can see that a pair of position keyframes and a pair of opacity keyframes appear on the timeline. The next preset is from the Emphasis group and it's called Jiggle. When I apply this preset, a series of rotation keyframes appear on the timeline and give that back and forth tremble effect to my object. Another preset from the Emphasis group is called Breathe. When I apply this preset, my object grows bigger and smaller again in the span of two seconds with a simple size transition. Last but not least, I select the Tap preset. When I apply this preset, my object becomes smaller and bigger again very quickly. This gives the illusion of a button being pressed, which is perfect to give emphasis on call to actions in my design. Let's apply what we just learned to a cool design. When I first open the app, I'm going to see the home screen. To create a new document, I click the plus button. Here, I can pick the resolution of my new document or import an existing file. I select this curve file and hit the import button to enter the scene builder panel. Here, I tap and hold on my artboard and drag it to the scene builder line at the bottom of the panel. I can also change the duration of the scene from here, from five seconds to 10 seconds. When I'm done, I click the import button. I select the phone. I open the panel on the right and I go to the preset library. I select the from bottom preset. I set the speed to slow and I hit apply. I open the drop down on the layer panel and I select the animation bars on the timeline. On the right panel, I change the timing of the animation from speed up to natural. Next, I drag the playhead back to the beginning of the timeline. I select the first text object and I apply the Must Reveal preset. I select the next text object and I apply the same preset. I repeat these steps for all the other text objects. I select the icon in the top right corner of my design. I apply the Jiggle preset to it. I press the preset button again and again until I cover the entire timeline. This way, the icon will rotate repeatedly throughout the entire animation. I can also apply multiple presets to the same object. I move the playhead to second zero and I apply the Breathe preset to this icon. I move the playhead to second four and I apply the Breathe preset again. This adds a nice size transition to the trembling icon. With the playhead on second six, I double tap the phone group and select the button. Then I click on Tap Preset. Easy as that. After the tap transition, I want all my objects to transition out of the scene. I select the text and I apply the Must Hide preset and pick the top to bottom direction. This preset is the twin of Must Reveal, but it works to make the object disappear from the scene. I bring the playhead at the beginning of the transition and I apply the same preset to all text objects. Then I select the phone object and I apply the to bottom preset with a slow speed. I make sure that all transitions happen at the same time and I'm done. And here's the final result. This animated ad is ready to loop on any web platform. When I'm ready, I can export my animation by clicking the down arrow on the top left corner and by selecting export. 
Here I can preview my animation one last time before saving it on my iPad. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this tutorial useful. You can learn more about Linearity Move and animation from the Learn tab on the home screen. Let's bring our stories to life with Linearity Move.